Thank you, Brandon. It's a new way to visit inmates, and if you live in Rensselaer County, you don't need to know somebody behind bars to benefit from it. Our Kimberly Howard shows us this new video chat service now being used in the Rensselaer County Jail. Yeah, we're doing all right. Inmate Benjamin Bornhorse is using IP Web Visitor to see and talk to his sister. Authorities at the Rensselaer County Jail say it's a secure system similar to Skype that costs nine dollars per 20-minute call. And you know, in today's day and age, taking a taxi down here and, and back home, and or bus trips, or even driving with the cost of gas, um, it, it's very reasonable. The county will spend the next year or so paying off installation and security costs. The goal, authorities say, will be met if each 20-minute slot available on one of 28 video chat key is filled. Our investment is somewhere a little around $350,000, $380,000. The county will then collect roughly 70% of the revenue generated from each call, calls that are recorded in addition to being physically monitored by a correction officer. It will prevent contraband from being introduced in the correction facility, which is always a problem. And most of that contraband, unfortunately, is drugs. Attorneys and other licensed professionals can talk to inmates this way, too. Those conversations will not be recorded, but the jail must validate credentials before the chat can go through. Authorities say this technology is the way of the future. It helps the entire system all the way through. And in the future, we're hoping that New York State changes its rules on um, video arraign, court arraignments and stop a lot of the movement of inmates from the correctional facility to the courts. In Rensselaer County, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. The money generated will go right back to the county to offset tax levies for public safety costs. Before this system was in place, inmates could only have two one-hour in-person visits per week. But these new video chat visits will be unlimited. Keep in mind, though, the person on the outside is the one who has to schedule the 20-minute time. And as we mentioned, they do have to pay.